Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jordina Chirango and in today's video I am taking you through how to apply for jobs in German. So the website is called www.bundesagenturfuerarbeit.de So as you can see it is best to use a computer because with a computer you can translate the page into English from German into English. So here what you're looking at, you will go straight and click to the right hand corner where you see menu. And when you click the main menu, you will find unemployed and find work. So you go for job search, school, training and studies, family and children, so many things. So each of these is listed. If you need assistance, you can go directly there. So for this time, we're looking at the job search. As you've seen, I've clicked this job search. And it will take you directly to job search because we said to translate. So it is translating directly from English, from German to English. So, for example, an accountancy job, an accountant is called book halter order book haltering. So we go for search. Then some have been wondering why uh, that you need only German. German is good, but there's some jobs that in the requirements that you don't see the German as a requirement. So here we do have accountant. You've seen the job description. You can start from now on, full time work. You can see as you scroll down the requirements, job description, what you required, what your task is going to be about. So keep scrolling. You can find contacts of your employer. Uh, you can find uh, again requirements uh, for the applicant that these are requirements that you are supposed to submit. So if you find, um, like you can see, they've given you the skills that you need, experience, leadership, responsibility, and the place of work. You see the actual address, address of the company, and then you can also get to see either their contact email or plus the number of positions plus the reference number that means when you're writing an application you need to include the reference number it is important that when you're communicating you put the reference number in your reference in your email so with that uh, the one you have copied down there is what i will include in the application is but as you can see, there are no German requirements there. So let us look at another job here. As you can see, this was for yesterday. Gestern is yesterday. Heute is today. For fear tag is four days. Four is before. Yeah, four days past or four view of tagen. So all those, the date that was posted. So let us look at another one. Uh, type of work, full time. From now on, actually employers are looking for people to come and work with them. You can see the job description clearly stated. Yeah, we have the profile. We do have requirements of the applicant. Let us see which requirements that we have. The skills, personal strength, languages. You can see in German, they say you need negotiable driving license, desirable. When they say desirable, it is not a must. So if you have it, it is desired. And then German, negotiable. Valuable language, your art, you can communicate with them, get in touch with them. But there are those particular jobs that really, they don't need the language requirement. Actually get to contact them as well. We do have another role exactly. Accountant wanted from now on. Guys, you can see that uh, these... Uh, these jobs are really many. The ones that you where they need German, as you can see, this one you can keep, it, but it's negotiable. So if you have a um, particular level of German, you can communicate to them. You can communicate to the employer. It might increase your chances of actually getting a job, the address, the requirements, compensation, everything. You have to scroll down up to the last page. You can see everything listed there, the company, the company size, the number of employees that are there. Searching and search. All these jobs are done. 
you can scroll down 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 go to the next page go to the next page go to the next page so how about when you search and it can't translate we have google translate we do have you can copy a particular a certain section of the text then translate it read translate and then later you can get details please have a notebook with you so that you can highlight or save in our microsoft word document so you can have a file for your applications that you're working on step put in as many applications as you can look at as many applications as possible as you can who knows could be your your opportunity as well there are so many job opportunities here that we are looking at for the case of book halter you can see that you go to an external page if you're interested you click on that page again translate the page so that you can have a good interaction with a page because sometimes some of those words probably might not be conversant with them in the german language go to the page check out those um those jobs if it's directing you to an external page please go there and search so that is what we have been talking about as you see i highlighted that translated it just a short passage translated you can translate and copy paste what has been translated so that you can have a full view of the job description how about for other other professions you know accounting has so many fields so do not basically just stick to one there's so many keywords key terms that you can input there in the job search and then find the address is there tell the fax email of the employer mobile even in case you need to call you can call so that is no problem So how about for other other jobs? Social arbeiter, this is social work, so I'm social worker, so want to find out and see how about other social arbeiten or arbeiter, which is social work. Yes, social uh, arbeiter give you the job description. If you translate the page and it's not translating, just find other options. You can copy um go copyright click look for translate to english that particular section it will be translated look at the requirements that are needed again copy and paste in your word document for purposes of working offline you get a clear picture a clear view of the job and details about the job so as you can see most of these companies put their address to state that um there it is well it is legal so you get to contact the employers talk to them and see the way forward basically what i know you're not supposed to pay any money while you're contacting these employers please go ahead and uh, look at the requirements what is needed of course the there's those professions which require licenses have your licenses uh, and then those ones which do not please they require experience state your experience let follow the instructions if they ask that you email them with your cover letter motivation letter cv whatever is required plus your document a copy of your documents not your original documents because sometimes sending your original documents how sure are you that they will be returned can them and attach them we have come to the end of this video and i want to wish you well with your applications do the work don't forget to subscribe like share comment and give me your views about this website stay tuned